Now I'm going to try some more lemon peel down in this section through here. It's just very thickly built up paint. Uh, it's all the paint's come off here. I think I'll be able to sand here because it's got filler on it. This is nearly back. So it's just this area back here. It's got some very thick paint and uh, I might put some more lemon peel on that. And I'm getting a bit rough with it now. at least one glove my brush hand so I've given this a good shake uh, lemon pour okay my gloved hand to do all the touching with Uh, particularly thick around the rudder stock here. <clears throat> Wait to see that. I think we're going to get there. There's a bit here where I think it might have been leaking downstairs, so I'm just going to take, see if I can get that off. This has worked pretty well in some places where there's thick paint. Other places, it's just taken off a layer. Um, I had some, probably can't see here, uh, bubble behind the paint, so I'll get that off. This section here, the paint, it's all chipped off, and that was new paint, so I'll come and get that again. Okay, so we have good sanded floor here. The paint coming off here with another coat of lemon peel. And you can see it working particularly well up the back there now. Close up, hang on. Lemon peel. Oh, then we have to sand all these and maybe lemon peel them back to timber so that they can get a coat of boat coat. These sides are coming up better. Um, they're really rough, so it's gonna have to have a boat coat filler on it. You see someone's done some patching here and it's just all run down. <laughs> it's pretty, uh, pretty terrible. Uh, and then we've got little spaces where water can get in. So this is gonna have to have a sand filler on it. And you can see our timber looking good. Uh, we've got some saturating boat coat with the saturating stuff in it. 
and I've put a bit of crap on that but I'll just sand that off we've got some saturating boat coat in here and in our rot up the front so they're gonna dry tomorrow and then I'll be sanding all this again um, trying to take this sort of stuff back which is you know really quite thick there's another one here Eey, look at that that's like five mil thick so maybe this has got a heat heat gun off but uh, either that or we'll sand and fill and then finally on the front here we're back to timber here ready for a clear coat a boat coat and as we mentioned before we're going to fill this with a piece of plywood here put a whole piece of nice beautiful ply over the top gabon 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 ply um, to sit in this inside this edge here cover all this where the where the uh, old instrumentation was and then that will look very nice oh and of course we've still got to do all the sides so that's got to be stripped back that's another job for another day so onward and upward I'll show you what I've already done so we can see some varnished boards that I went through the ply uh, we can see the non-slip top deck has been done the very slippery duck boards I'm gonna to have to put a sand boat coat on those or you know boat coat with non-slip um, and yeah we're just coming back to trying to get back to bare timber so we can boat coat this <clears throat> all the decks are way too rough still I've tried sanding those and it's not enough so I've got a heat gun you know five mil of paint off the very nose is done and then we've got a deck oiled tow rail here which is looking pretty nice all the way down so if I get stuck into it <clears throat> I'll get there it's just a nice thing down below pretty nice in here looking pretty scary Tomorrow, scraping, sanding, and prepping so that this can all be filled back here. I may have to remove a few little uh, pieces, D shackles, and um, D rings, and things. 